mind is very simple for me, because if you take away your attention, it just dies. California may be beautiful, but people can be in hell, isn't it? Within themselves, in their experience, in their homes, in their situations, they can create hell for themselves. Everybody must do a little bit of engineering within themselves to see that being peaceful and joyful is not a challenge. Once this happens, your intelligence will function in a completely different way. Well, this is the biggest chemical factory. If you take charge of this, you will create the right kind of chemistry. If you had a choice how to be, either blissful or miserable, what's your choice for yourself? Blissful. Blissful. Uh, what you want for your neighbor may be debatable sometimes, <laughs> all right <laughs> What you want for yourself is very clear, you want to be blissful. Why such a simple thing is happening, not happening? Well, I'm saying a simple thing because all human experience is generated from within. It doesn't come from outside, we know this, right? Mm -hmm. Our peacefulness, our turmoils, our joy, our misery, our agony, our ecstasy, everything is being created from inside. So the problem is, the seat of your experience, you never sat on that. You are like an outsider trying to create an experience from outside. You want to air condition the place to feel good. You're feeling good, if air conditioning there, we'll enjoy that also. Otherwise, we're anyway. This is the reason continuously we're talking about why you being joyful or blissful is very important. Because only when you're joyful by your own nature, the fear of suffering is not there. When there is no fear of suffering, uh, you know, about a week ago, there was a daily, I have a quote, like a mystic quote going out. A week ago, one of the quotes said, uh, if, uh, if your body, mind and your very being is sweet and wonderful, even if you go to hell, you're fine. So big controversy around that in India <laughs> about going to hell and heaven and all that stuff. <laughs> I, hell means the worst possible place you can be, not somewhere up there or down there. People can be in hell in California. Hello? Mm -hmm. California may be beautiful, but people can be in hell, isn't it? Within themselves, in their experience, in their homes, in their situations, they can create hell for themselves. So it doesn't matter where you are, fundamentally, if you are not in pursuit of happiness, but your life is an expression of your joy, then all this will go down by itself. Now, without fixing this, you try to do this, that, that, no. First and foremost thing is, you're peaceful and joyful by your own nature, not because of something. Because today something worked out, I am happy, no. I have started so many things that every day something will not work out for me <laughs> I have made sure my life never works. <laughs> Something major is always going wrong somewhere, okay? Some idiot is doing something somewhere and troubling me. Uh, but uh, that will not decide the quality of how I am. That is why you can do everything that you can do. People say around me, Sadhguru, so many big projects, suppose it fails, what to do? I said, if it fails, what to do? We'll die blissful failures. If it succeeds, other people will benefit. That's all. Anyway, I will die blissfully. If we do it well and it succeeds, immense benefit will happen to people. If you fail, well, it didn't work. Anyway, it had not worked even before. But when it doesn't make a difference to you, what is success, what is failure for you? So the most important thing is this. First and foremost, everybody must do a little bit of engineering within themselves to see that being peaceful and joyful is not a challenge. Once this happens, your intelligence will function in a completely different way, because right now it's in a survival mode, always fearful if what will happen, what will happen. What will happen means what? Will I suffer? That's a question, isn't it? Once there's an assurance, whatever happens, this is how I will be. Other things are very simple. Yeah. 
so much gratitude for everything that you've accumulated in your life that you've been able to share with, uh, with so many people. So thank you.